Good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? Okay. How are you? Fine, teacher. Fine, teacher. That is great. I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. I'm fine. Happy to be here tonight. Okay. I'm going to start today's presentation. And for that, just let me check. It's over here. I will share the screen with you now. There it is. Okay, everybody, can you see the screen that I'm sharing? Just a yes, Okay, yes, great. Yes. Okay, great, thank you. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, first things first, we need to call attendance. Hello, teacher, so Jennifer, voy entrando. Hello, Jennifer, welcome. Okay, Thank I'm going you. to call uh, the attendance now. So when you hear your name, please let me know. Number one, Andrea Ixchel Sanchez Aguilar. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Blanca Mireya Galdames Hernandez. Blanca Mireya Galdames Hernandez. Braulio Heriberto Velázquez Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, the next one is Carlos René Ramírez Varillas. Celia Verónica Pleites López. Celia Verónica Pleites López. Claudia Yesenia Évora de Hernández. Claudia Yesenia Évora de Hernández. Doribel Arelía Reaza Flores. Present, teacher. Thank you. Elena Gabriela Jovel Valle. Elena Gabriela Jovel Valle. Emanuel Portales Hernández. Emanuel Portales Hernández. Fátima Noemí Rivera Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Irma Zuleima Grande de Cuellar. Irma Zuleima Grande de Cuellar. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centeno. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centeno. Jacqueline Rebeca Cermeño López. Present teacher. Thank you. Jaime Ernesto Palacio Cepeda. Present teacher. Thank you. Jennifer Marisol Iraeta de Torres. Present teacher. Thank you. Jonathan Eduardo Elías Granadeño. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Alexi Ávila Alfaro. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Aristides Moreno Alberto. Jose Aristides Moreno Alberto. Jose Manuel García García. Present teacher. Thank you. Jocelyn Noemí Romero Alvarado. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Abigail Aguilar Rodríguez. Carla Abigail. Present. Okay, thank you. Ligia Lisbeth Arias Abarca. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Marcela Alejandra Lousel Bonilla. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mirna Yanet Landos de Luna. Present teacher. Thank you. Ricardo Alexander Flores Osorio. Ricardo Alexander Flores Osorio. Saúl Alexander Lozano Calderón. Present teacher. Thank you. 
Wendy Lisette Carías de Cedillos. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. When, uh, sorry, Yolanda Arely Flores de Humansor. Present, teacher. Thank you. Zulma Maritza Landaverde de Pineda. Zulma Maritza Landaverde de Pineda. Alguien que no haya escuchado su nombre. He, he mencionado a todos, pero tal vez se incorporó después que yo lo haya mencionado o la haya mencionado. ¿Me puede indicar, por favor? Yo, teacher, Jacqueline Guevara. Jacqueline Elizabeth, Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centeno. Ok. Sí. Thank you. Thank you. ¿Alguien más? Ya se ha incorporado recientemente y no haya escuchado su nombre. Nobody. Ok. All right, let's begin. Everybody, take a look. This is Inglés Principiante, módulo 3. And that's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service. Today is December the 6th of 2022. And this is session 14. Ok, just today. Two more sessions after that, and we finish. So, what are we going to do? Well, the first thing is we need to have a review. Ok, un repaso. We need to have a review on the contents we studied yesterday, and that is the past of the verb be, was and where, was and where, last night and now. Take a look. So uh, Robert is at work now. At midnight last night, she, he wasn't at work. He was in bed, he was asleep. So remember, um, when the verb be is am or is in present, the past is was. So you say, I am tired now. I was tired last night. Where is Kate now? Where was Kate yesterday? The weather is nice today. The weather was nice last week. Now we have are in present. The past is where. You are late now. You were late yesterday. They aren't here now. They weren't here last Sunday. Okay? So remember, the affirmative form goes like this. When the subject is I, he, she, or it, you need to use was. When the subject is we, you, or they, you need to use were. The negative form is very easy. You just need to add not like this. So when the subject is I, he, she, or it, you say was not, or the short form, which is wasn't. When the subject is we, you, or they, you need to say were not, or the short form weren't. Some examples. Last year, Rachel was 22, so she is 23 now. When I was a child, I was scared of dogs. We were hungry after the trip, but we weren't tired. The hotel was comfortable, but it wasn't expensive. Expensive, I'm sorry. Now, that's the review. Este es el repaso, ¿verdad? Para que estemos frescos ya a lo que vamos. Lesson objective. This is lesson objective 5.3. Everybody, take a good look. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer questions with the past of the verb. Additionally, you will also learn how to express years. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán a formular y responder preguntas con el pasado del verbo ser. Además, también aprenderán a expresar los años. Very easy. Take a look. Now, these are the questions with the past of the verb be. Ayer estudiamos la forma afirmativa y la forma negativa. Hoy vamos a estudiar la forma de pregunta. It's not difficult. Elena Gabriela. Hi, teacher. Hi. Good evening. Uh, Good evening. Sorry, I have a problem with my cell phone. Okay. For attendance. Okay. Ahorita vamos a registrar su asistencia. Thank you for letting me know, Elena. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Welcome. All right. So, questions with the past of the verb be. Take a look. This is what you will find in the platform. Okay. And it's also in the manual. Let's see. Were you born in the US? You say, yes, I was. 
No, I wasn't. Ok. ¿Se acuerdan la clave que les di? Fíjense en la primera palabra con la que comienza la yes, no question. Aquí vemos que es el verb be en pasado. Por lo tanto, la short answer va a utilizar el verb be en pasado también. Así es. Cuando lleve did, va a ocupar did. Cuando lleve do o does, va a ocupar do o does. Esa es la clave para no perderse. So, were you born in the U.S.? You say, yes, I was, or no, I wasn't. In my case, no, I wasn't. I was born in El Salvador. Second question, was your brother born in 1984? You say, yes, he was, or no, he wasn't. Were your parents born in Inchong? ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Okay, yes, they were. Or no, they weren't. Now, what kind of questions are these? ¿Qué clase de preguntas son estas que acabamos de ver? What kind of questions yes, are no they? Question. Yes, no questions. That is correct. Thank you. They are yes, no questions because the answers are only yes or no. Now, take a look at these other questions. Where were you born? I was born in South Korea. When was he born? He was born in 1985. Like me, I was born in 1985 too. What city were they born in? They were born in Seoul. Okay. Now, what kind of questions are these? ¿Qué tipo de preguntas son estas? Information question. That is correct. They are information questions. You don't answer these questions by saying yes or no. Mm -mm. You need to provide specific information to answer the questions. Si usted le dicen, where were you born? Usted no le va a contestar, yes, I was. Porque no tiene ningún sentido. Le preguntan, where, donde, quieren saber un lugar. Esa es la información específica que le están pidiendo. I was born in South Korea. Ok. Si alguien me pregunta a mí, where were you born? I will say, I was born in San Salvador. Ok. Next question. When was he born? Le preguntan, ¿cuándo? That's the specific information they need. When was he born? He was born in 1985. If you ask me, I'll say the same. I was born in 1985, 37 years ago, long time. And what city were they born in? They were born in Seoul, Korea. Okay, that's the idea. Pero como ya sabemos, la misión es expandir el conocimiento, no quedarnos solo con ese poquito. Así que ahí les va esto. This is was and where. This is the form. Affirmative, as we have studied with the subjects I, he, she, and it, we use was. For we, you, and they, we use where. The negative, you use wasn't when the subject is I, he, she, it, and you use weren't when the subject is we, you, or they. But what about the question? The question form is very easy, very easy, okay? A diferencia, del pasado, de los otros verbos en que había que ocupar un auxiliar que era did y además había que cambiar el verbo a su forma base, si ustedes se acuerdan, para hacer la pregunta. Esto es mucho más sencillo. Just look. You say was and where. Was I? Was he? Was she? Was it? Were we? Were you? Were they? So the subject and the verb be change places. And that's your question. Así se forma la pregunta. Solamente el sujeto y el verbi cambian de lugar y ya es tú. No hay que hacer nada más que eso. Si antes usted decía I was para hacer la pregunta, ahora va a ser was I. Si usted decía you were, entonces para hacer la pregunta va a ser were you. Solo cambian de lugar y ya es tú. No es la gran ciencia, es todo lo que hay que hacer. Igual que en el presente del verb be. En el presente del verb be, para hacer la pregunta, solo hay que cambiar de lugar el sujeto y el verbo. Y es tú. Pero solo con ese verbo. Con otros verbos es otra historia. So, again, you say, was I, was he, was she, 
was it, were we, were you, were they, and there are some examples. I need a volunteer to read the first example for me, please. Volunteer, please. Wendy. Was the weather nice when you were on vacation? Was the weather nice when you were on vacation? That is good. Thank you very much. But why do we say was the weather nice? Take a look. Was the weather nice? Blah, blah, blah. When you were on vacation. It's the same as saying was it nice? Was it nice? Mm -hmm. Because you know that the weather is the equivalent of it. So was the weather nice? Was it nice? Okay, that's the idea. Sulma Maritza, please, the second example. Your shoes are nice. Where, um, um, your shoes are nice. Were they expensive? Mm -hmm. Your shoes are nice. Were they expensive? Mm -hmm. Costaron caros o estaban caros? Were they expensive? Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Sulma. Jaime Ernesto, please help me read the third one. Saul, the fourth one. And I don't know who the number five. Okay. But, okay, Jaime. Why were you late this morning? Why were you late this morning? ¿Por qué llegaste tarde esta mañana? En inglés, para decir que usted ha llegado temprano o ha llegado tarde, no se ocupa precisamente el verbo llegar, que sería arrive, o en algunos casos get, sino que se utiliza el verbo be. Si usted llegó temprano o está a tiempo todavía, entonces usted dice I am early. Si llega tarde, entonces dice I am late. Y si está hablando en pasado, pues habría que ocupar también el verbo be. En pasado, ¿verdad? Para expresar lo mismo. Por eso aquí le dice, why were you late this morning? ¿Por qué llegaste tarde esta mañana? Okay, it's the boss, not very happy. Okay, uh, thank you, Jaime. Saúl, ¿qué se me hizo? I'm here. Okay, <laughs> number four. Yeah. How much was your jacket? How much was your jacket? Correct. When you express the, co the cost of something, you have to use the verb be. How much was your jacket? En cuánto estaba la chaqueta? O cuánto te costó la chaqueta? Right? How much was your jacket? Thank you, Saul. And the last one. I need a volunteer. Uh, okay. Saul, do you have a question? No, no, no question. Okay. Uh, volunteer for the last one. Mirna. Okay, teacher. Sería la última. Was the, the exam easy? Was the exam easy? Mm -hmm. Was the exam easy? That's right. Was the exam easy? Correct. Because the exam is it. So when you say, was the exam easy? It's like, was it Easy. Was it? Was the exam easy? Was mm -hmm. it? That's right. Thank you, Mira. Okay. So, what about the short answers? Take a look. For the short answers, as I have mentioned before, you have to use the verb be. Pretty easy. You say, yes, I was. Yes, he was. Yes, she was. Yes, it was. Yes, we were. Yes, you were. Yes, they were. Negative. No, I wasn't. No, he wasn't. No, she wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, we weren't. No, you weren't. No, they weren't. And I have some examples, okay? I need volunteers. I am going to read the question and you help me read the answer. Volunteer for the first one, please. Saul, then Jaime. Saul, were you late? Uh, the microphone. No, I wasn't. 
Okay, Sorry. thank you. <laughs> it's okay. Thank you, Saul. Jaime, the second one is yours. Was Tom at work yesterday? Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Thank you very much. Jose Manuel, the next one is yours. Were Sue and Jim at the party? No, they weren't. No, they weren't. Okay, thank you very much. Wendy, you go for the next one, I promise. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Okay, so um, those are the short answers. Before we continue, do you have any questions? Alguna duda? Irma. No, teacher, se me activó. <laughs> okay, pues sin querer. Okay, Mirna. Sí. Eh, yo sí, teacher, eh, en la primera dice, where are you late? Uh -huh. Pero contesta, no, I was. O Porque sea, es una conversación. Ah, ok. Ajá. Entonces, uno le dice al otro, were you late? Y el otro contesta, no, I wasn't. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any, uh, you're welcome. Any other questions? No questions. All right, let's continue. What are you going to do here? Take a look. Write questions from these words, plus, was, and where. Put the words in the right order. Tienen que poner las palabras en el orden correcto. Y además, hay que agregar was y where en el lugar adecuado. Es una conversación. Por lo tanto, también quiero que vean la respuesta. La respuesta les puede ayudar a elegir, ¿verdad? Cómo van a ordenar las palabras y dónde van a colocar was or where. En todas tienen que colocar was or where. Fíjense bien, algunas, aquí tengo una pequeña equivocación, dice not, debería decir no. Ahí está, ya lo corregí. Ok, algunas de ellas son yes, no questions y otras son information questions. ¿Cómo lo van a saber? Viendo la respuesta. La respuesta es la que les va a decir cuáles son yes, no questions y cuáles son information questions. Ok. So, here we go. Number one. Late. You. This morning. Why? And the answer is the traffic was bad. So what is the question? When did he said? Why you late this morning? Faltó una palabra clave ahí. El verb bien pasado. Hay que ah, colocar. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Why were you late this morning? Why were you late this morning? Okay. That's right. Okay. The traffic was bad. Mm-hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lisette. What about number two? I need a volunteer. Para este ejercicio, quisiera que no se repitieran los participantes. Es decir, tenemos seis. Quiero que me lo contesten seis personas distintas. Saúl Alexander. And then Jaime Ernesto. Was, mm -hmm. was difficult your exam? Was difficult your exam? Not exactly. Second opportunity, segunda oportunidad, veamos. Okay. It was difficult, you also. Es lo mismo que me dijo hace un ratito. Oh. Were you difficult exam? Mm -mm. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. But remember, raise your hands. Raise your hand. Okay, uh, Saul, do you have it? It's difficult. It's worse. I'm sorry. Your word. Were difficult. Were di oh, sorry. Were difficult. Your exam. Uh, no, not really. Not really. Levantemos la manita siempre. Levantemos la manita. Okay. 
No, Saul. But well, thank okay. you, thank you for your there participation. Some, okay, wait, 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 wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. But thank you for participating. Me encanta que participen. Pero eh, mantengamos siempre la regla, verdad? Para participar, levantemos la mano porque hay algunos que levantan la mano. <coughs> pero eh, si uno simplemente participa sin levantarla, prácticamente le robas la oportunidad al que había levantado la mano y que estaba esperando por su oportunidad. Por eso siempre insisto, ¿verdad? Levantemos la manita y así ya vamos por orden. Por orden específico, quién va a pasar primero, quién va a pasar después. Veamos. Eh, quien seguía en línea era, quiero ver, Jaime Ernesto. Jaime Ernesto, do you have the answer? Ok, teacher. Where your exam difficult? Where your exam difficult? No, not really. Let's see. It's incorrect. It's incorrect. I'm sorry. But thank you for your participation. Jose Alexi is next in line. Your exam was difficult. Your exam was difficult. Okay, better, but still incorrect. It's a question. Thank you, Jose Alexi. Andrea Ixchel. What? your exam difficult was your exam difficult that is the right form was your exam difficult por qué bueno es lo mismo que está acá solo que con otra palabra difficult was the exam difficult or was it difficult cuando decimos your exam es el equivalente de it por lo tanto, si recordamos la regla, tenemos que ocupar primero el verb be y luego va el subject. Si decimos, was it difficult? Entonces, lo, lo mismo sería, was your exam difficult? Uh -huh. Así que cuidado, cuidado con eso, ¿verdad? Hay que identificar de qué estamos hablando. Estamos hablando del examen. O sea, el examen es it. Sería, was it? Por lo tanto, was I'm sorry about the noise. There are cats fighting on my roof. Okay, so was it difficult? Was your exam difficult? Okay. Um, the next one, number three. Andrea Ixchel creo que me contestó la anterior, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay, okay. So um, what about number three? Jacqueline y Rebeca. Uh, sería where, where, Sue and James last week. Good. Where were Sue and James last week? Correct. Where were they last week? That is correct. Thank you, Jacqueline. They were on vacation. Very good. What about number four? Raise your hand. Sulma. Hey. How was much your new camera? Mm, not exactly. En este caso no habría que dividir how ni much. Si se fija, todo oh. está dividido por plecas. Así que esas se quedan um, juntas. Entonces sería how much was your new camera? That is correct. How much was your new camera? Very good. Okay. Thank you, Sulma. $120. A little expensive. <laughs> okay. Number five. Raise your hands, please. Who wants to participate? Si alguien ha participado anteriormente, pero tal vez no tuvo la respuesta correcta, tiene oportunidad de, de probar de nuevo, ¿verdad? Si quiere. Okay. What about number five? Pero que le pegó al clavo, sí, por lo pronto no, para darle oportunidad a los otros. Mm -hmm. Number five. Who wants to try? Jaime. Were you angry yesterday? Le faltó una palabra clave. Was. Mm, let's see. Do you use was with the subject you? Where. Where, correct. Was is only for I, okay. he, she, and it. So? Why were... You angry yesterday? 
Why were you angry yesterday? Because you were late. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you, Jaime. And the last one. Who wants to try? Raise your hand, please. Jose Alexi. The weather nice last week. Can you repeat that, please? The weather last night. Perdón, ahí se le trae un poquito. Okay. Uh, the weather nice last week. But you forgot the verb B. Ahí falta una palabra clave, the verb B. Maybe Dorivel can, can help us? Yes, teacher. Uh, was the water cold last week? Was the weather nice last week, right? Was the weather nice last week? Mm -hmm. Yes, it was beautiful. Thank you, Dorivel. Thank you, Alexi, also for your participation. Okay, so yeah, there you go. Si ustedes se fijan, siempre aparece el verb be antes del sujeto. Were you? Was your exam? O sea, was it? Were Sue and James? Es decir, were they? Was your new camera? Es decir, was it? Were you? Was the weather? Was it? Okay, that's the idea. All right, let's continue. It's 9.35. So what are we going to do here? Ah, by the way, before we complete this, I want you to take a look at this part, the years, okay? Por cierto, este es el knowledge check, ¿verdad? 5.5. Este ejercicio es el mismo que está en la plataforma, es decir, lo resolvemos acá, ya tiene la respuesta para las plataformas, ¿verdad? So, before that, take a look at the years. ¿Cómo leemos los años en inglés? Es un proceso bastante sencillo. De hecho, es más fácil que leerlo en español. En español tenemos que leer el, el número completo. Decimos 1906, 1917, 1999, 2001. In English, it's a little different. Take a look. How do you do this? If you notice, it's 1906, 1917. So how do you do this? I say, for example, I was born in... Oops. Ok. En español diría 1985, pero en inglés no voy a decir 1985. Eso no se pronuncia así, sino más bien así. ¿Cómo lo va a hacer usted? 1985. Es decir, los dos primeros dígitos se pronuncian como un número entero, que sería el 19, 19, y los dos últimos como uno separado, 1985, ok, así que cuidado con eso, verdad, no vamos a decir 1985, no, eso es súper largo, en inglés no aplica, sería más bien 1985, ok, veamos, no voy a preguntar directo porque hay gente que no le gusta revelar esto, pero quien quiera participar puede hacerlo. My question is, when were you born? ¿Cuándo nacieron? ¿O cuándo nació usted? My answer is, I was born in 1985. José Manuel, and then Elena Gabriela. José Manuel, when were you born? I was, I was born in 1983. 1983. Let's see, like this, 1983. Okay. So you are 39 years old. Okay, good. Thank you. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you, Jose Manuel. Elena Gabriela, when were you born? I was born in... 1992. 1992. 
Yes. Okay, good. 1992. So you're 30 years old. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, good, good. Thank you. Wendy Lisette, when were you born? I was born in 1980. 1980. Okay. Yeah. 1980. Okay, good. That means 42. Okay. All right. Jose Alexi, when were you born? I was born in 1997. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Sin embargo, tengamos aquí nada más un poquito de cuidado con la pronunciación de este. Este es 19. 19. Porque si decimos 90, entonces 90 es 90. Ajá. Todavía no llegamos a ese año. <laughs> okay. So 1997. 1997, that means you're 25 years old? Yes. Ajá. Uh -huh, 25 years old. Okay. Good. Very young. Irma Suleima, when were you born? 1986. Okay, the complete sentence? Yes. I was born? I, I was born in 1986. 1986. 1986. Okay, you're 36 years old. Okay, yes. Mirna Yanet, when were you born? I was born in... 1979. 1979. That means 43 years old. No, more. Yeah, 43, right? Uh huh. Yeah, that's no, the, uh, no. no. <laughs> okay. Yeah, um, 42. 42. Okay. Yes. 1979. Is your birthday in December? Um, no, May. No, in May. Okay. May. Okay. All right. Okay. So um, let's see. Creo que ya participaron todos los que querían participar. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much for your participation, everybody. Así es como va esto. Jose Aristides wants to participate. Jose Aristides, when were you born? I was born in 1988. 1988, okay, 1988, yes. that's good. So you're um, 34 years old? Yes. Okay, 34 years old. Okay, good. Son los ochenteros y noventeros acá. Okay, everybody, take a look. So um, that's what you have. Ahora, cuidado, cuando hay un cero acá, Vamos a decir O. Oh. O. Oh. Por ejemplo, en este caso, decimos 19 y luego no decimos 6 nada más. Decimos 1906. Así que cuidado ahí, ¿verdad? 1906. Aquí cuando aparezca el cero. No, no digamos solo 196, sino 1906. Okay, remember, that will be 1906. What about the next case? Take a look. 1999, como ya vimos. ¿Y qué sigue acá? 2001. Aquí tenemos un caso que es diferente. A partir del año 2000 se vuelve como, digamos, por el uso que se le da, se vuelve opcional. ¿Cómo lo va a decir usted? Aunque por lo general desde el año 2000 hasta el año 2010, si no me equivoco, por lo general la gente pronuncia o pronunciaba, pero como uno siempre se puede referir al pasado, ¿verdad? Los números completos. Es decir, tenemos 2000, 2001 o 2001. Por cierto, ahí es... Eh, Optional. You can say two, sorry, two thousand and one, or simplemente two thousand one. Okay. Lo mismo sucedía. Siguiente. Two thousand two or two thousand and two. Two thousand three or two thousand and three. Two thousand four. Two thousand five. Two thousand six. Two thousand seven. Two thousand eight. Two thousand nine. Two thousand ten. 
Después del 2010, queda casi a elección suya cómo lo va a decir. Usted, a partir de ahí, tiene la libertad de decir 2011 sería 2011, si quiere decir en, si no, no hay problema. O puede decir 2011. De la forma en que habíamos dicho, ¿verdad? 2011. 2011 o 2011. Y de ahí los que siguen, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, este año en el que estamos, puede decirle usted 2022. No hay ningún problema. O puede decir simplemente 2022. Y las dos maneras se consideran aceptables. Eso sí, antes del año 2000, sí, acuérdese, tienen que mencionar primero los dos, bueno, los dos primeros y luego los dos siguientes. ¿Ok? That's how you read it. 2001. So what are we going to do? Take a look. Complete these questions with was or where. Number one, were you born in this city? What about number two? Who wants to try? Se durmieron, gente. ¿Qué les pasó? Number two. <laughs> Who wants to try? Nobody wants to try today. Come on. Okay. Wendy. And then Saúl, then Andrea. Okay. Thank you. When where when were you born? When were you born? That's correct. Okay. Thank you, Wendy. Saúl, number three, please. And then Andrea, number four. When were your parents born? Where were your parents born? Correct. Where were they born? Very good. Andrea Ixchel, number four. When was your mother born? When was your mother born? Okay, very good. Very good. What about number five? Raise your hands, please. Number five, Sulma. When was your, your father born? When was your father born? Correct, very good. Thank you, Sulma. Number six. Number six. Uh -huh. Vamos, sin, sin miedo, sin pena. Elena Gabriela. When were you and your family in this city last year? Okay, but it's only one word, solo una palabra. Ah, Just perdón. a verb. <laughs> okay, no problem. No, I have fijado, lo siento. When? Uh, not when. Oh, it's, sorry. It's, it's, it's the verb, right? You can use was or where only. Those are the only two options. Oh, where? Mm -hmm. Where you and your family? Were you in and your city, family? Right? In the city uh, last year. Yeah, okay, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Elena. Number seven, who wants to try? Number seven, please. Jaime. And then Irma. Was you at this school last year? Remember, when the subject is we, you, or they, we need to use where. So what is the correct form? Mm -hmm. Were you at this school last year? Were you at this school last year? Okay, thank you. Irma, you take number eight, Dorivel, number nine, and Mirna, number 10. Who, who were your first English teacher? But your first English teacher is he or she? So? Uh, he. Aha. Uh -huh. So what is the correct form? Who? Uh, who, who? Were he your first English teacher? Mm -mm. Take a look. Cuando decimos your first English teacher, nos referimos a una sola persona. O sea, que es un he o es una she. Okay. So we can't use where because where is for the subjects you, we, and they. So what's the correct form? Oh, 
um, sería who, who he mm -mm. Were, who were. Hay que agregar yes. solamente el verb be, que es was okay. o were. Ok, entonces sería who was. Mm -hmm. Who was your first was English teacher? First English teacher. Mm -hmm. Who was your first English teacher? Thank you. Uh, Doribel, number nine, please. Uh, the microphone, Doribel, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay, don't worry. What nationality was your first English teacher? What nationality was your first English teacher? Thank you, Doribel. And Mirna, number 10. Um, sería, was, what was he, what she like? What was he or she like? Okay, very good. Vamos a ver. Quiero que también se atrevan a hablar un poquito más acá. Les voy a hacer estas preguntas. Por supuesto, responde quien quiera, ¿verdad? No quiero obligar a nadie, pero... La invitación siempre está abierta a que traten de participar. Acuérdense que lo peor que puede pasar es que voy a hacer las correcciones pertinentes. ¿Verdad? Es lo peor que va a pasar. Y lo mejor que va a pasar es que va a aprender. ¿Verdad? Porque de las equivocaciones también aprendemos. So, algunas de ellas, como por ejemplo, la número 6 y la número 7 son un poco extrañas y como que no aplican a estos contextos, pero todas las demás sí aplican. Así que, I'm going to ask you. So number two, volunteer, please. Number two, ¿quién me contesta la número dos? Sin miedo. Sulma, when were you born? They. Um, mm -mm. When were you born? You. You, Sulma Maritza. Es el number two. Number two. Uh -huh. um, When were you born? Well, um, I was born in uh, 1977. 77? Yes. Okay. I was born in 1977. Okay. Good. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Mirna, number three, where were your parents born? Um, so yeah, my mother mm -hmm. was born mm -hmm. in uh, Mm -hmm. Sería entonces, uh, my mother was born mm -hmm. nine, 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 Ah, careful. The question, the question is, where? Where were your parents born? For example, como ejemplo, okay. my parents were born in Suchitoto. Ok. Es como oh. que yo fuera también de Suchitoto. Nada más que no nací ahí. So, my parents were born in Suchitoto. Pero en el caso, si sus padres nacieron en lugares diferentes, entonces, si dice, ¿verdad? My mother was born in, ya me dice, Zacateculuca, Nahuizalco, San, San Salvador. Salvador. Ok, etc. And my father was born in. Ok, so, Mirna, again, where were your parents born? Well, my mother, I was, my mother was born mm -hmm. in San Salvador. Okay, and your father? And my my father was born in La Libertad. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mirna. Okay. Wendy, number four. When was your mother born? She was. Born in 1952. 1952. Okay, good. She was born in 1952. Thank you, Wendy. Por ahí vía Saúl. 
quería participar, pero <laughs> levanta la mano y después la baja. Okay, number five. Yeah, you're busy, teacher. Ah, so I'm not busy, I'm not busy. No, y dejen la yeah. manita levantada porque sí, ya sé, ya voy viendo yo. Iba Fulano, I let, I let Mecano. Them, I, let it, I let them participate with you. Ah, okay, you, you let them participate. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that's very generous. Number five. Yeah, thank you. When was your father born? Oh, my question. Yes, yes, my, for you. <laughs> my father, mm -hmm. my my father was born in San Sebastián, San Vicente. Ah, but the question is, when was your father oh, born? Oh, when? I'm oh, sorry. When? when oh. oh, my. <laughs> He was he was born in nineteen nineteen fifty five something like that. Nineteen fifty five. Okay. So, okay. Approximately. Yeah. Okay. Nineteen fifty five. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you, Saul. <laughs> Very good. So I'm not going to ask questions six and seven because they don't make sense in this context. They don't make sense. What about number eight? Who wants to try number eight? Vamos, sin miedo al éxito. Mm -hmm. Number eight. Ah, sí, teacher, no me acuerdo cómo se llamaba. No los culpo, yo tampoco me acuerdo. So, what about number eight? Come on. Wendy, who was your first English teacher? It was a um, very cool teacher. Uh huh. But what and was? I, uh huh. And I, uh, she was an um, hungry teacher. Angry teacher. Angry teacher. Angry teacher. Angry. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay, and what was her name? Her name is uh, Mrs. Lopez. Mrs. Lopez, okay. Yeah. Okay, so your first teacher was Mrs. Lopez. Okay, angry teacher. <laughs> All right, thank you, Wendy. Very good. Ahora, la número nueve, creo que todos me van a decir que era salvadoreño o salvadoreña, pero igual voy a preguntar, what nationality was your first English teacher? Who wants to try? My first English teacher was Salvadoran. <laughs> Saul. My. What was the question, teacher? Num oh, number number nine. What nationality number was nine. your first English teacher? Teacher. Mm hmm. Wow. My teacher was. You you can say my teacher was, <laughs> and then the nationality. For example, in my case, my first teacher was Salvadoran. Oh, my first teacher was Philippine. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, it was the Philippine. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> Una respuesta inesperada. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's that's good. And the last one. Seguimos hablando del primer profesor. Tenemos la pregunta, what was he or she like? Ahora, ¿qué quiere decir esta pregunta? What was he or she like? Es como mencionó Wendy, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo era él? O ella. Wendy nos dijo, she was very angry. Ok. Ok. Tenemos ahí una respuesta. Quiero que alguien más me participe acá. Let's talk about your first English teacher. Acuérdese de su primer profesor o su primera profesora de inglés. No sé quién fue. What was he or she like? ¿Cómo era? En personalidad, más que todo. De eso se trata. What was he or she like? Volunteer. 
For example, my first English teacher was very nice. Raulio. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, my teacher, um, the English, uh, uh, he was a uh, very, very good. Okay, my first English teacher was very good. Okay, nice. That is great. Okay, everybody, thank you for your participation. We have one more exercise and then we're going to finish this class. And I will call the attendance one more time. So the final exercise is here. Take a look. Acuérdense que ese era el knowledge check, ¿verdad? Hasta ahorita ya tendríamos que llevar completado hasta el punto, digamos, o la sección 5.5. Si pueden adelantar, háganlo. Si se confunden en algún momento, bueno, nos esperamos a la clase porque todo lo vamos a cubrir de todas maneras. Ok, esa es la parte 5.5. No aparece exactamente así, es un poquito diferente, pero son las mismas preguntas. Así que aquí está ya, ¿verdad? Ok, this is extra. Esto sí es extra. Veamos. It's a conversation. You need to complete the conversation with the expressions in the box. Ok, solo se pueden ocupar una vez cada una. No se vale repetir y están cabalitas. Melissa is asking, were you born here in the U.S., Luis? And Luis says, here, no, I wasn't. I was born in the Caribbean. Melissa asks, oh, were you born in Cuba? What is the answer? Raise your hand, please. Elena. Um, no, I am from the... Dominican Republic. No, I'm from the Dominican Republic. That's correct. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, Ixchel, Andrea Ixchel, do you have the third one? Melissa asks, really? What city were you born in? I was born in Puerto Plata. I was born in Puerto Plata. Very good. Thank you very much. What about the next question? Melissa asks, were your parents born in Puerto Plata too? Wendy Lisette. Yes, they were. We were all born there. Yes, no. they were. We were all born there. Todos nacimos ahí. We were all born there. Thank you, Wendy. That's the correct answer. Then Melissa asks, and why did you come to the U.S.? Fíjense acá, ¿verdad? La estructura de la pregunta es diferente. Estamos ocupando el pasado de los otros verbos. Por lo tanto, aquí ocupamos did y el verbo en forma base. Why did you move to the U.S.? ¿Por qué te mudaste o por qué se mudaron ustedes, verdad, a Estados Unidos? Why did you move to the U.S.? Zulma Maritza. I think the microphone, you need to activate it. Um, so the, um, I moved here in 2002. In 2002 or 2002. Mm, not really. It's a different one. Second chance, segunda oportunidad, veamos. Why, um, por qué, le dice, why did you come to the US? Por qué? Um, I come here to study English. I came here to study English. I came here. Correct. I came Thank here you. to study English. Thank you, Sulma. Mirna Yanet, you're next. Melissa asks, so when did you move here? Uh, Sería, so yeah, I moved mm -hmm. here in 20... Um, se me olvidó como dijo el cero en el 2002. Pero si se acuerdan, de 2000 al 2010, lo mejor es pronunciar el número entero. Sería 2002. 
the last thing mm -hmm. two 2002 or 2002 so yeah. i moved here in 2002 okay, okay. thank you okay. mirna carla abigail melissa asks really how old were you then i was 16 i was 16 that's right thank you carla very good and melissa asks was it scary the last one Es fácil, ya lo queda una. <laughs> Was it scary? Andrea Ixchel. No, it wasn't. I love it. No, it wasn't. I loved it. Okay, very good. Yeah, that's right. Very nice. We're going to stop here, but first I need to call the attendance. Let's see. Voy a llamar solamente a aquellos que no me han respondido aún. Blanca Mireya Galdames Hernández. Blanca Mireya Galdames Hernández. Celia Verónica Pleites López. Celia Verónica Pleites López. Claudia Yesenia Évora de Hernández. Claudia Yesenia Évora de Hernández. Emanuel Portales Hernández. Emanuel Portales Hernández. José Aristides Moreno Alberto. Present teacher. Thank you. Ricardo Alexander Flores Osorio. Present. Thank you. En Zulma Maritza Landaverde de Pinea. Aquí anda, ya la vi. Present. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, very good. We're going to stop right here. Everybody, tomorrow we will continue. And recomendación. Traten de no faltar porque ahorita ya esta semana es lo último que tenemos para subir el porcentaje de asistencia, ¿verdad? Si faltamos estos días, ya después ya no hay, no hay oportunidad. Así que tratemos de estar acá siempre la mayor cantidad de minutos posible durante la clase. Wendy. Hola, teacher. Yo Hola. el jueves le puse que tenía problemas por mi trabajo. Me uh -huh. iba a conectar, pero no iba a encender la cámara ni el micrófono. No hay problema. Pero... El detalle es que al final no me pude ni conectar, entonces no sé si eso Ajá. afecta el porcentaje, pero es una clase nada más la que me ha perdido. Sí, sí, sí afecta. Si solo es una clase, creo que no, no habría mayor problema. La cuestión es que ustedes pueden avisarme a mí o al, o al docente de turno que van a faltar. Y claro, uno lo, lo toma en consideración. Sin embargo, Insafor, que es en, en última instancia quien exige la permanencia en la clase y la asistencia para ellos no hay no hay pero que valga ese es el único problema no se puede negociar con ellos entonces sí, yo sé, por eso le preguntaba ah, si uh -huh. en el porcentaje afecta bastante sí le, porque sí le afectaría perdería digamos la digamos menos de un 10% de asistencia ah, va, entonces. porque son 16 clases entonces uh -huh. Uh -huh. Bye. Gracias, teacher. Okay. okay. All right. Everybody, thank you for your participation. Thank you for your attention and your commitment to this class. I will see you tomorrow at nine. Take good care and good night. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Thank you. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.